Hey, good evening, guys. Touch coming at you. It's uh, Wednesday, July the 13th, and we're just coming up to uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. Smoking hot out in the garage. It's uh, above 30 degrees Celsius and pretty high humidity. So we're going to be sweating a little bit tonight, but uh, anyway, we're going to uh, get some work done. We've got a long-awaited parts arrival. So we have this small box here. Hang on for a sec. So this small little box costs about uh, 275 bucks, and there's not much stuff in it, and it doesn't weigh anything. So uh, we'll unpack it, and I'll show you what we got. Not much. All right, guys. Like I said, not much for uh, this is basically 186 dollars U.S., uh, which is about 225 to 230 dollars Canadian. That includes the shipping. And uh, basically what we've got here, we've got some filters, some foam filters, which I think will look good on the car. We have some, basically some gaskets for the uh, inspection cover. These are for the fuel unions. And then we've got some tabs which hold on the air horns. And these little bastards, believe it or not, are about $6 a piece. Sorry for the lawnmower noise. And then I've got some nuts and uh, lock washers that uh, work on these Webers uh, that are specific to these Webers that go on these studs here. So, like I said, on these Weber, the DCOE 42s, the air horns actually come out. And they actually hold the choke in place. So uh, that's what those little tabs for are for to keep those from rattling or vibrating out. And then, uh, like I said, we'll throw the foam filters on top of those. Hopefully they'll fit okay. So that's about it. That's my task for tonight. Uh, last night, although I didn't bring you out here with me, we managed to uh, play around with the carbs a little bit and get them balanced. And hopefully we got the uh, mixture set on them properly. We're going to do a little bit of trial and error on that. Anyway, we did play around with them a little bit last night. I didn't video it because it was pretty boring. But... Uh, Anyway, we'll get to installing these uh, parts that I received tonight, and that'll be the end of this uh, little carburetor saga. And, of course, guys. the tabs don't fit. So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but they're not quite right. So, these are 42s. These are for 40s. So, I don't think there should be a difference, but apparently there is a difference. So, I think what we're going to do to rectify this is we're going to grab our little... Uh, probably our little die grinder and we're going to uh, reshape these so that they work. More work than I wanted to do but uh, we're going to do it regardless. I'm not waiting for more parts to show up so we're going to modify these guys. Alright guys, a little right, grinding we'll by the Dremel and the tabs are now on. I've just put the four across the top. I don't think I need to do the bottom ones. They're in there pretty solidly and I don't believe they're going to move and I've got lock washers on them so they shouldn't vibrate out. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on them. So uh, next step is to try the old filters out. So let me unwrap those and stick them on there. Alright guys, they there like. they are with the foam filters installed. I think they look pretty good. I think they match the car. Clean things up a little bit. I do like the open stacks, but not going to work so well with uh, dusty roads and rocks and gravel and that kind of thing. So we went the safe route with the foam filters. Well, like I said, I think they look okay. All right, so next here's project. how the car is idling after my tuning yesterday. Seems to be idling not too bad. Fairly smooth. And we'll let it warm up for a little bit, and I'll uh, give you a little bit of throttle so you can hear what it sounds right, like. Here we go. That's my power hour for tonight. We'll get back out here tomorrow and we'll play around with a few other little things I need to do before I take it in to get uh, safetyed. Alright guys, we'll talk to you later.